Robert Mueller still to finish his probe. We're going to wrap up our coverage for right now. We'll continue it all day long on abcnews.com. David Muir will be here tonight in Helsinki for a special edition of World News. Until then, I'm George Stephanopoulos for ABC News. This has been a special report from ABC News. You're watching the home of Jet 24 Action News. From Jet 24, your weather authority, this is your forecast first. A new motor sky cam. It's hazy out there, and boy, is it a hot one out there. Our latest in our storm tracker showing some showers and storms. A uh, little line moving up here. Nothing severe, but localized heavier downpours headed towards central Ohio. That could reach us by early afternoon. It's 90. Ouch. Dew point 68. It's a hot one. It's humid. And with that heat and humidity, we're going to see some of those scattered showers and storms develop through the afternoon. Uh, threat of severe is low, but there could be some real good downpours for some of them into tonight along with a few gusty winds. Rest of the forecast after your headlines. Jet 20 for Action News at noon starts now. From your news leader. President Donald Trump and Russian leader Vladimir Putin finally meet. We bring you the latest from Helsinki. Plus, the president's secretary of education will be in Erie in a few short hours. The Erie and Pennsylvania Democratic parties have something to say about her visit. And roar on the shore preparations are well underway for the action-packed five-day event. We'll tell you which roads to avoid starting today. Live in high definition from your news leader, this is Jet 24 Action News at Noon. Good afternoon. I'm Elena LaQuatra. We're beginning this afternoon with the much-anticipated meeting between President Donald Trump and Russian leader Vladimir Putin. The White House says the goal is for the two to have an open conversation rather than accomplish a reset of the U.S.-Russian relations. Molly Hunter has the latest. One-on-one, -on -one, a lengthy working lunch. President Trump claimed victory. We had direct, open, deeply productive dialogue went very well. The president added that he spoke with Russian President Vladimir Putin about a range of hot topics at length. The Russian state has never interfered and is not going to interfere into internal American affairs, including the election process. The main thing, and we discussed this also, is zero collusion, and it has had a negative impact upon the relationship of the two largest nuclear powers in the world. The bilateral meeting with only interpreters joining the two leaders was requested by Donald Trump and scheduled for just 90 minutes running much longer. They were then joined by their teams. Trump flanked by his U.S. ambassador to Russia, Secretary of State and National Security Advisor. But a tweet from Trump set the tone for the summit blaming U.S. foolishness for the strained relations with Russia. And then a handshake. Putin showed up more than 45 minutes late, making the American president wait. I'd like to congratulate you World Cup, one of the best ever. And that was the first joint press conference we've seen between an American president and a Russian president in nearly a decade. After he concluded his remarks, President Trump turned to Putin and whispered, thank you. Molly Hunter, ABC News, Helsinki. Meanwhile, as President Donald Trump wraps up a meeting with the president of Russia, hundreds of people are gathering in Chautauqua County to discuss that relationship means. This week's theme at the Chautauqua Institution is Russia and the West. Senator Chris Coons from Delaware is a member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. He is sharing his insight on the history between Russia and the United States and what he believes could be in store for the future. Coons says Russia poses a major threat on our democracy and our U European allies, telling the crowd that Chautauqua Institution is a perfect place to discuss this international climate. Jet 24's Jackie Roberts is there and will have the full report tonight at 5 o'clock. And while President Trump is in Helsinki, his Secretary of Education is right here in Erie. This is coverage concerning your schools. Betsy DeVos is expected to begin her tour of Erie Public Schools in just a few hours. She's expected to visit an elementary school, speaking with teachers and students while she's there. She's also expected to take some time to talk with the local media. In a joint statement from the Erie and Pennsylvania Democratic parties on DeVos's visit reads, quote, Erie's public schools have lost millions of dollars in public funds to, quote, school choice and other Republican agendas. 
designed to interfere with the high quality public education offered throughout the Commonwealth. It continues Mr. Kelly has supported legislation that would weaken the quality of public education and Mrs. DeVos would like to see public education go away altogether. It is disgraceful to see them use Erie's public schools as a backdrop for their failed agenda. A bizarre case of a body found wrapped in plastic and buried in an Erie backyard. Two people now in Erie County Prison. In connection to that case, this is continuing coverage this afternoon. On Friday, we told you about a man who Mill Creek Police asked for your help in locating. That man was 85-year-old Vincent Force. He allegedly disappeared from his home near West 12th Street and Peninsula Drive. There is suspicion that there could be a connection to his disappearance and the body found over the weekend. Police were called to the 200 block of West 5th Street early this morning for a report of a body lying in the backyard. Elizabeth Taylor and Antonio McLaurin, shown here, were charged in connection to a death of this, potentially this man. Residents in the area, including a number of Gannon University students, were surprised to wake up to the crime scene. I was terrified because I had no idea what was going on. Um, and I had gotten a uh, safety alert from my school saying they found a deceased person. So I wasn't sure what that entailed. Taylor and McLaurin were arraigned Saturday night and sent to the Erie County Prison with a bond set at $300,000 each. The autopsy on the body began at 11 this morning. At that point, the coroner will be able to identify whether or not this man may or may not be Vincent Force. And the search for a missing boater on Chautauqua Lake continued through Sunday night. Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office, dive teams, fire departments, and a helicopter all joining in on the efforts late Saturday. The search has been concentrating on the southern half of Chautauqua Lake near Lakewood. Witnesses tell the sheriff's deputies that the victim jumped off his boat to go swimming, unfortunately never resurfacing. Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office is identifying the boater as 47-year-old Timothy Yoakum of Faulkner, New York. He disappeared about 5.30 Saturday evening. The search continues. Congressman Mike Kelly was touring Northeast over the weekend. The visit was an opportunity for local business owners and residents to have a conversation with the congressman. Kelly wants locals to voice their concerns about the economy, trade issues, and education. He says it's important to him to meet with Erie's residents one-on-one. -on -one. Business owner Billy Lewis had the chance to speak with Kelly. Just took, retook over the district, and uh, we're, we were happy when he was our, our congressman a few years back, so we're glad to have him back. And uh, he just always is that kind of a guy that seems to embrace the communities that he's involved with. So it's nice to see him come out to the Cherry Festival, uh, come in and meet some of the local business owners. The economy's coming back in this area. It's, it's, it's surged in other areas. Uh, it's starting to come this way. We've seen the lowest unemployment numbers we've seen in decades, so that's a good sign. We see uh, wages rising. That's a good sign. And we're just seeing how how much more we get that moving. The momentum right now is moving. It looks good for everybody. We want to see it keep moving in that direction. Kelly says he's taking the concerns he gathered from the Northeast folks back to Washington. Now downtown Erie is fairly quiet this noon, but soon Roar on the shore will be coming and already work is underway to prepare downtown for the thousands of motorcycle riders coming into town this week. The roads around Perry Square are slowly shutting down over the next two days as the preparation work continues. When completely finished, the roads around Perry Square from 3rd to 7th streets between Peach and French will be closed for the annual festival. Additional roads will be closed Thursday evening when the bringing in the Roar Parade travels from Interstate 90 to Perry Square. Coming Coming up on Jet 24 Action News at noon, the Thai soccer team is recovering from the nearly month-long ordeal trapped inside a cave. We have the latest on their conditions just after Tom's forecast. Good afternoon, Tom. Hello, Ellen. Already hitting 90 degrees here in Erie, and it is a warm one. Oof, rough day to be working on the buildings. A look at that warm forecast after the break. From your news leader, you're watching Eleanor LaQuatra and meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. This is Jet 24 Action News at Noon. Closed captioning brought to you by Home Instead Senior Care. Do you have a child between the ages of 3 and 5? The GCAC Head Start Pre-K program is a great place to prepare your child for kindergarten. There is no cost to qualified families. Centers are located throughout Erie County. 
Doesn't your child deserve a head start? Call or visit online. Register at New Motor Subaru for a chance to win the key to summer fun ticket giveaway. One lucky winner will receive a four-pack of tickets to Pittsburgh at Cleveland, a four-pack of tickets to Chicago at Pittsburgh, a four-pack of tickets to Milwaukee at Pittsburgh, a four-pack of tickets to the Erie Seawolves, and a voucher for a four-pack of tickets to the Otters. Go to New Motors before July 16th and enter for your chance to win. The Pennsylvania Cyber Charter School, a tuition-free public school where students, teachers, and families create a true community of learning, where every moment is teachable in the safe, nurturing environment of your own home, where each student's success creates the foundation for a lifetime of achievement. PA Cyber, where the learning never stops. For more information, visit pacyber.org. People ask why I'm so passionate about Honda. It all started 30 years ago when my mom trusted this exact 1987 Honda Accord to safely transport our family. Trust takes many years to earn. And through Bianchi Honda, I'm sharing my passion for Hondas with our community. Bianchi Honda, trusted from the very beginning. And still on the road today. From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Welcome back as we check these out in our uh, live shot here. Ah, uh, yes, uh, progress in store here. We're zoomed in on the construction of Erie Insurance uh, Building, of course, a massive construction. Oh, man. I, feel, I can't help but feel sorry for the guys here when they're working in 90 degree heat, dew points near 70. Uh, hopefully, they're drinking a lot of water because you're going to need it if you're working out for the afternoon. Uh, but otherwise, you can see thick haze here, St. Patrick's in the background, and uh, things are looking okay for now. As we check things out on our storm tracker, we're finding uh, some showers and storms coming toward the Worcester area and toward the western suburbs of Cleveland. Uh, it's a broken line at this point and uh, nothing as far as severe weather goes. But we're also finding other areas of showers starting to form here in northeast Ohio and uh, other areas in between Ashtabula and Worcester. So uh, we're expecting uh, those clouds and those showers to move into the region and uh, they'll be scattered about through the afternoon. We have some hot weather here. Temperatures well into the 80s and near 90 at Penn State Barron. Uh, 88 in Corey, 86 out toward Edinburgh. Farther inland, Ed got your update. 88 now at Westmead, Woodcock Borough, 88. Sagertown, 87. And well into the 80s to near 90 in the Warren County area. We got a lot of moisture here and uh, dew points well up on near 70 or greater. And future cast keeping the threat of those showers and storms. Probably heading uh, a little light to start out, but uh, they'll get a little more numerous as the afternoon and evening goes on. The front itself does not pass through till uh, just before daybreak here. And uh, so we'll keep the showers in the morning, particularly south and east of Erie, but then nice drier air comes in on that northeast we flow. Storms this afternoon, the main threat will be heavy downpours. Not expecting severe, uh, though some could have some pretty gusty winds. Uh, for this afternoon and tonight. Just watch for those as we head on through the day. And on the lake, be especially mindful. Those showers are approaching. Southwest winds 5 to 12, waves a foot or less outside of storms. And your forecast here along the lake shore, temperatures holding the upper 80s to near 90. Chance of those thunderstorms through the afternoon. Uh, scattered showers and storms on the inland side with uh, temperatures in the upper 80s. And again, some of the storms could have some good downpours. And the same thing in the Chautauqua Allegheny area through the afternoon. Periods of showers and storms for tonight. And then early morning showers give way to some sunshine for tomorrow. Cooler, less humid, high temperatures uh, in the upper 70s. And uh, from your weather authority, we do expect uh, some uh, nice weather as we head on toward Wednesday and into Thursday uh, before the next round of humidity comes in on Friday. Updates of that forecast can be found anytime. Head to our website, yourerie.com. Lots of sunshine to enjoy in the coming forecast. Yeah, not bad. Less humidity, too. <laughs> we'll be right back. Jet 24 and Country Fair want to fuel your obsession for cuteness. Feature your baby, your fur baby. Mondays on Good Morning Erie. Log on to your Erie.com contest page. 
and submit a photo of your pet for a chance to be featured as the cutest pet of the week. All this cuteness is brought to you by Country Fair, providing clean, top-tier, Sitco Tri-Clean Gasoline. With the Pennsylvania Lottery's new eye lottery, you can play while on my tablet, eating a dill. Guess who else is playing? Uncle Bill. On oh, my laptop. On my phone, waiting for Grace. Out front or inside, no matter the place. With lots of new games. On every device. It's a revolutionary way to play that's always nice. Here or there. Play eye lottery everywhere. Eye lottery. Play here, there, everywhere. Sign up today for $5 in free play. Instead of going to school every morning, what if school could come to you? Because learning happens anywhere and everywhere. K-12 powered schools provide a tuition-free, full-time, online public school education taught by state-certified teachers. It's public school at home. K-12's curriculum is designed to engage students, to challenge them. So visit k12.com today. Tuition-free in Pennsylvania. To all those at Goldberg, Persky, and White, when my husband and I had our first meeting with an attorney from your office, we had no idea of the excellent service we would receive. It's been 12 years since my husband died from mesothelioma, and thanks to your firm, I've been able to live a comfortable life and enjoy time with my family. Thank you. Goldberg, Persky, and White, the local experts. Call 1-800-COMPLEX or visit gpwlaw.com. Time now to take a look at this afternoon's market numbers. At noon, the markets are all up. The Dow was down just over a point. The Nasdaq was in the red, down 13 points, and the S&P 500 was in negative territory, down over four points. The youth soccer team members are recuperating from the Thailand cave ordeal, slowly on their way to a full recovery. The group continues recovering at the hospital. All 13 people were severely malnourished. They've gradually been eating more and wearing surgical masks to ward off infections. All of them are expected to be released by Thursday or Friday. Many of the teens say the first thing they plan to do once they get home is eat. The Trump administration is trying to clarify its plan to reunify migrant families who were separated at the U.S. border. The federal judge overseeing the process chastised a Trump administration official last Friday. Today, that judge convenes another hearing at 12.30 Eastern Time. More than 2,500 kids between the ages of 5 and 17 are supposed to be reunited with their parents by July 26, the court-ordered deadline. But the Department of Health and Human Services has said a significant number of those migrants Minors cannot or should not be reunited with the adults from whom they were separated. In a court filing Sunday, the Department of Justice made it clear that officials do not want to reunite a child without confirmation of who the parent is and assurances that the child will be safe. Last Friday, the HHS took issue with the court truancing the vetting process, saying increases the risk that HHS will reunify a child with a parent who will abuse them. And we're counting down to Amazon. Amazon Prime Day set to kick off at 3 p.m. Eastern. Amazon is promising big savings with the click of a mouse. But how do you know what's really a good deal? Consumer correspondent Becky Worley has the answers. Prime Day is here. Prime Day starts 3 p.m. July 16th. Well, almost. At 3 p.m. Eastern, Amazon Prime will start rolling out sales on over a million products. It's an epic day and a half of our best deal. New this morning, Amazon planning 40% off select toys to refresh summer fun. Plus, 30% off on Amazon basic items such as bedding, office products, and cookware. The mega sale running 36 hours until midnight Tuesday. But it's available only to Amazon Prime members who pay $119 a year. But you can sign up for a 30-day free trial. Amazon says some of the deepest discounts will come as lightning deals, limited time sales that go live and sell out quickly. But what if you're out and about? You don't want to be tied to your computer all day long. Well, good news. The Amazon app has lots of tools for notifying you when deals are coming up. If you click into the menu, choose Today's Deals. You'll see what's live now, and this tab offers a glimpse at upcoming offerings. Find one you like, and you can click Watch This Deal to receive notifications when it goes live. And for the first time ever, you can find Prime deals in actual stores. We're going to see specific deals for Prime members in Whole Foods locations, which will be interesting to see kind of what they roll out there. But buyer beware. Prime Day shoppers might end up spending more than expected on Amazon brands and services. The whole idea is to get 
get people hooked on the concept of Prime. Tom, we'll have one last look at your forecast when we come back. Stressed out? That's how you'll feel when you're hurt in an accident. The insurance company may give you the runaround. That's where we can help. We take over the legal hassle so you have one less thing to stress about. For a free consultation, call 1-800-9-4-EDGAR. People ask why I'm so passionate about Honda. It all started 30 years ago when my mom trusted this exact 1987 Honda Accord to safely transport our family. Trust takes many years to earn. And through Bianchi Honda, I'm sharing my passion for Hondas with our community. Bianchi Honda, trusted from the very beginning. And still on the road today. The Lecom Medical Fitness and Wellness Center is more than a place to work out. Our team of certified fitness professionals will help you reach your health and wellness goals by providing you with a personalized fitness assessment and exercise program. Whether you prefer to work one-on-one -on -one with a personal trainer, in a group setting, or on your own, the choice is yours. To learn more, call the Lecom Medical Fitness and Wellness Center at 868-7800 or visit us online at lecomwellness.com. You deserve a smarter, safer fitness experience. Frustrated? When you're hurt in an accident, dealing with the insurance company can leave you at your wit's end. Let us take over the hassles and paperwork so you can focus on what's most important, getting better. For a free consultation, call 1-800-9-4-EDGAR. It's warm and humid out there. Scattered heavier showers already forming in Ashtabula County. Those will be moving into our region over the next half hour. Lots of some heavy downpours and spots through the afternoon and tonight. That's all we have for you for Jet 24 Action News at noon. Have a lovely day. Take care.